the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A human mind can never be at peace without being content. Having contentment and being satisfied with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us is basically one of the pillars of happiness. Living in such a materialistic world, humans are more prone to look at people above them rather than those below them. But Islam advises us to look at those below us and feel content with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided us. So what is contentment? Contentment is the neuropsychological experience of satisfaction and being at ease in one situation regarding contentment. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has said, Remember death repeatedly. This will save you from longing for the worldly pleasures. Show gratitude frequently, and this will increase the graces upon you. Pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so recurrently, because you do not know in which time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will respond to your prayer. Beware of tyranny, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained that He will support those whom are oppressed. Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq alayhi salam said, If a son of Adam alayhi salam possessed two vast valleys wherein gold and silver flowed, he would still wish to search for the third one. If an individual does not control his eagerness to have more and more, it will without a doubt develop into a greedy monster that is uncontrollable. Many people possess the material goods of the world and are not happy. In fact, they are often the most miserable people. With everything they have, they still feel they want more. This unfilled desire, along with the constant nagging in their heart for more, makes them unhappy. Those who have little but feel no need for more do not experience the nagging in their heart. They can relax and find peace. Indeed, the richest person is not the one who has the most, but the one who is content with what he has. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Riches does not mean having a great amount of property. Real wealth is self-contentment. From the lives of the prophets and imams, and from the lives of heroes, we can certainly conclude that they all have a common denominator, and that is contentment. It is through contentment that these great and respected individuals become happy and close to Allah. Let us learn from those great people. We can start by being thankful for what we have. We do not need the newest phone in the market or the best car out there. What we need is contentment because without it, our lives would be unfathomable. Thank you for watching. Join in to the upcoming episodes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.